Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we're going to talk about a new kind of chat GPT hallucination. So first, what is chat GPT hallucination? Chat GPT hallucination is a way in which chat, is, chat GPT makes up stuff. For example, for you to be creative, like even if you're a human being, you need to sometimes mix things that are not coherent and then build a coherent story. So that way, you know, you can bring creative work, the knowledge driven work outside. It doesn't work fine for facts, but it works really good for creative work. So you go to chat GPT and ask it to write a poem for you. It can do absolutely really well. And that's going to be, that's, that's going to look like a creative work from a human being. And it's primarily because chat GPT can hallucinate. But now the problem is when you are asking chat GPT some fact driven question, and then it has to give a fact driven answer or fact based answer. That's when hallucinations become a problem because you expect an honest truth from a chatbot, but that is not going to give you an honest truth, but instead it makes up stuff. For example, you would have seen screenshots or, you know, tweets like this going viral where you can summarize links with chat GPT. And now you might be wondering that, hey, what chat GPT cannot access internet, but how can it give me summarization? For example, let's take this link. This is a simple link. I'm going to paste it on internet. I'm going to show it to you. So you can see this. This is a Maruti Suzuki 800. Um, what does it feels like some large article? Then you have got people there. And now I'm going to ask chat GPT to summarize this. I'm going to go type summarize this link. Should I say please? Okay. Yeah, please with respect, please summarize this link and then send this link to chat GPT. Now, what is it going to do? It's going to summarize this link for me. It says article is a review of uh, the car Maruti 800, which is described as easy and handle drive. Oh, this is amazing. It says the smooth gear transition. It's a comfortable interior. The author also notes that the car is not very powerful. It looks perfect. Amazing. Okay. So then now it's good. So I'm going to go and then pick another link now. So at, at this point, I'm convinced that chat GPT has really summarized this article really well. Okay. So now I'm going to go pick one more article. What is this? This article says building a minimalistic virtual machine. I'm going to just copy the link and go back to chat GPT. And then I'm going to say, please summarize this link and then give the link and then send it to chat GPT. Now, once again, chat GPT is going to summarize it. It says, it's building a minimalistic virtual machine using a rust programming language. The author explains key concepts. Okay. Involved in creating memory management, blah, blah, blah. And then let me go and then click the article in the first place. When I click the article in the first place, I'm going to go search something. I'm going to look for rust. Okay. That's quite surprising in this entire page. There is not a single word called rust rust. As you know, is a programming language. So when you read this, you, um, you automatically assume that, oh, this is probably using rust. The author explains key concepts involving memory management looks quite plausible when you read this, but when you go to the page and then when you try to look for rest, there is nothing rest. In fact, I'm going to show you one more wonder. For example, this is a link. This is says Nokia launches DIY repairable budget Android phones. Cool. I've taken this URL. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to scramble this URL. I'm going to, I'm going to make something wrong in such a way that the URL doesn't open. Cool. It says we haven't been able to serve the page. So now if you're going to ask this to an AI, the AI should be able to first open the link and then get the text, then summarize it for you. Let's ask ChatGPT. I'm going to send this to ChatGPT. Please, once again, summarize this link for me and then send the link. Now let's see what is going to happen. So as you know, this link does not open in any browser, but it says this article reports Nokia's launch of a new Android phone called Nokia DIY, which is designed to be repairable by the user. It has got a removable back. The phone is affordable, making it accessible to the people who are on a tight budget. Now you might think when you read this, you might think this is what actually the summary of this article. But in fact, as a matter of fact, this link doesn't open at all. And nobody can open this link. This link just came on February 25th. So it's not even possible that you can say that this is part of chat GPT's training data. So what's happening here? What is surprising here? How was it able to give me text even when the text is not accessible? It's quite simple. Chat GPT is hallucinating. It is making up stuff purely based on the text that you have got in the URL is it's a, it's a fact that you need to believe. 
based on the text that is available in the URL and based on its previous knowledge that it has accumulated, it is making up stuff. That's why it could actually say that Maruti 800 in this case, which is a very cheap car, it can say that this car is a good option, but it is not, uh, let's say, what is this? It's not a powerful car. So how does it know it's not a powerful car? Because it already has a knowledge about Maruti 800. And again, like I gave this link, I said this link summarize this. So from the link, you can see that this has got a deal sale. It has got MacBook Air M2. It has got iRobot Roomba, i7 Robot Vacuum Treadbit Strong Box and a micro speaker. And when you ask for five points from the link, it can in fact give me the five points. So the three points are about three product. And the fourth one is about the deals. And the fifth one saying that this is a limited time offer. So it can literally make up five links. But again, the point is these links are not available in the given article. And the same thing is happening everywhere. So we can literally go, you can like, I can literally make up a link. For example, I can go to ChatGPT. I can say, please summarize this link. And I can say HTTPS. I can say uh, my best friend. Maybe there is a website dot like this. My best friend. 444.com slash this is my birthday gift bmw x5 and i'm going to send this now this link does not exist or oh it says it's it it guessed mm, this is quite surprising so let me give this i'm going to say this one my best friend maybe i should say guardian guardian.com oops guardian.com and then let's send it maybe it, it this is quite surprising it says the link is not accessible please double check the link and provide the corrected one cool what is the what is the link for guardian let me go check the guardian link maybe i should say wikipedia the guardian okay it's supposed to be the guardian so i'm going to copy this again send it the guardian.com and then send this again and it this is quite surprising to me in fact okay let me try something else so i'm going to i'm going to look for this i'm going to say this and i'm going to paste this and uh, please summarize this link i want to paste this link after i paste this link i'm going to just say this one this is my birthday gift inside presentations and send this. So let's see what it does. It says, now it has made up stuff. It has actually made up stuff. So I, I'm not wrong. That's one thing. The link you provided is a video presentation entitled, this is my birthday gift BMW X5. How the actual content of the video doesn't seem to be related to the title. Instead, it covers the topic of scaling agile teams. Therefore, I cannot summarize the link accurately based on the given title. If you have any specific question or topics you would like to summarize, please let me know. So what is happening? It seems even though ChatGPT is trying to hallucinate, it's trying to look for the right domain. So it knows what that particular domain is. So it knows this is actually a car review site. It knows this is a place where people have mentioned deals and it knows this is actually a place where people have given some articles. So it doesn't want to give you a link. It's completely random. So let's try one last time. I'm going to go here and I'm going to pick a domain. So I'm going to pick a domain that is quite common. So in this case, maybe DW.com is a good domain. So I'm going to go here and then I'm going to say, please summarize this link. And I'm going to say HTTPS www.dw.com slash and I'm going to say um, Agile is the world best um, coding language and I'm going to ask it to summarize. So it says Agile, it says it doesn't lead to a valid page. That's quite surprising. Let me go and click the DW link and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say, please summarize this link and then give the link. And now I'm going to paste this. So I'm going to paste this here and I'm going to send it here. And then let's see now what it does. So it almost looks like um, it's actually looking for the URL pattern itself. So it's 
this this is quite um quite an intelligent hallucination because you can see once if i make up a link it says this link does not valid lead to a valid page but in fact here again i'm making a link but i'm keeping the structure of the website intact so that makes chat gpt believe that this is a valid link so this looks like maybe there is a first level of um, first level of check i don't know if uh, open ai is actually doing a check to see if this kind of link exists then it says agile methodology and software development is okay one last thing one last thing i want to sh i want to make sure that it is actually making up stuff so i'm going to say please summarize this link i'm going to say um what what do i want to say rodeo rodeo what is this mario is the best programming best performance language 20 20 to 3 and i'm going to send it so this is again a completely made up link it says this link does not exist so that's that's a surprising fact so it looks like whenever i paste a link and then i try please summarize this and i want to paste the link and when i paste the link let me paste the original link here and then say mario is the best programming language 2021 then let me send this and then let's see what it does this i'm sorry but the link you provided does not lead to the valid page or an article uh okay because maybe it knows that mario is not a programming language let's try something totally different so what are the what are the programming languages we know we know java is a programming language so sumatra look, java is an island name in indonesia so i'm just trying okay it doesn't work let me try one more thing so please summarize this link sumatra is not uh, now i'm going to say please summarize this b plus plus and send it let's see if it can identify b plus plus so it says the link is it because i've got the year there so let me remove the year there and then send it please summarize this link okay it says it still says that please double check the link so i'm going to go back and then pick one more link i'm going to pick this link the um, presentation link but instead of presentation i'm going to write article and i'm going to send the link so i'm going to send please summarize this and uh, let me do the same thing b plus plus and in fact like i'm going to close it like this and send this so some please summarize this okay this article discusses a new programming language called b plus plus which the author claims to be the best programming language b plus plus is a modern programming language designed to address the shortcomings of existing programming languages however the article also notes that b plus plus is it's an early stage so once again like as we know this is completely made up so my guess is this when you give a url uh, it looks like open ai is doing some level of moderation before even the url could be examined by chat gpt that's why in few cases it actually tells you that um, the url is not valid but in few cases it doesn't do it it just generally um it it just generally tries to summarize it or you know hallucinate so maybe it's possible that chat gpt is trying to open up the internet i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure because previously it used to say that you know i don't have access to internet but it looks like right now it it at least started um, started looking for things so it's it still is hallucinating that's my guess my guess is that the it cannot access the link um but yeah if you have any other opinion that it can actually access the link because it says the link does not lead to a valid page or article so I, i'm 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 somewhere in the middle so let me one last time i can send this so this is this is um, actually a stable diffusion control net related issue that i was looking at please summarize this link Technically, if it can access it, it should actually get the word control net. So it's called fast table diffusion. It's a number. So do you see anywhere a control net? No, it's it is all very fluffy. It says this is a question number. This is this, this, this. So it means technically chat GPT is not summarizing. It's hallucinating. It's quite good. It's quite good. In fact, like it says that the link is not valid. I know this is a very long video, a lot of experimentation. 
but i don't want to cut anything so if you are making it till this level please please let me know um really thankful but again it was a very quite interesting experience for me experiment for me in seeing how much chat gpt can hallucinate and what kind of things it can do see you in another video see you